It's our first time at WTM and uh, we thought we'd, we'd try and give it something back to the industry. Um, the industry has been very supportive uh, of taxi advertising over the last 15, 20 years. And uh, what we felt was it was, a, it was a good time to come and meet all the direct clients rather than just maybe the agencies or specialists that a lot of these uh, customers book through. Come and meet them directly, but also promote to them some of the new things that we're doing this year. What exactly are the new things? Because I understand what we're, this essentially allows you is a destination can show itself off on a taxi, which we've always done, but this is a way of going even further forward when you get inside. Absolutely, yes. That, that's one of the key things that, and messages that we're bringing across. Um, as Verifone, we've invested actually across the globe, um, started in New York, but now into London. Um, we have 5,500 of the licensed black taxis, the iconic taxis. They're now fully equipped with payment systems, but more importantly for this industry, digital screens as well, which can really then get the uh, message out. Rather than just a broadcast message, it can be now narrowcast to, to very, very um, captive consumers and, and very affluent consumers at that. And do you think with something like travel, which is a visual medium anyway, because obviously the great sites are fantastic things to see, are you able to tell the story better? Can a destination do this? I think it absolutely lends itself um, to the travel market. Um, I think one of the, the new additions that we've done are the new microsites that can be done where we have a standard content loop, where we have our Sky News that's breaking in there. Once uh, someone's captive along on that journey, they can then uh, go into, say, the Visit Dubai or Visit Thailand site, where they can have a lot more intimate messaging and pot potentially a call to action uh, for something to maybe go and book uh, book that, uh, that holiday or that last minute deal. Um, I think the other key thing as well is that we have things uh, called meteo targeting, which actually has, has taken quite a lot of interest while we've been here, which to sum it up really is if the weather is cold, we could play something about a hot destination. If the weather is hot, maybe we play something that's cold. So it's not just intimate, but intelligent too? It's very intelligent. Um, it also has uh, geo-targeting as well. So it actually knows where you are on the journey. So we can actually um, brand particular adverts potentially to where the area where they're traveling. So for example, if uh, tourists are on their way back to the M4, down the M4 for Heathrow, we can then play specific ads that are relating to that area. And do you think this is then a very real step for the travel industry to move forward in targeting the consumer? Uh, I believe so. I think all the research that we, we, we've done um, lends itself very, very well to this. Uh, we've been promoting this out to the specialists and the agencies that book all of the advertising. And now it's really just bringing it back to the actual end user consumer. And we've had some great uh, experience and feedback over the last few days. And has your first day, WTM then been a good platform for launching this? I have to say, I, I'm not a great fan of shows as an individual, but this has been... Um, Nothing short of remarkable.